Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 6 of the Boat Plane Build Series. In today's video, the plan is to add some control surfaces and hopefully get this thing flying at a set altitude and hopefully achieve that without too many issues. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokie, so let's get some control surfaces sorted. So let's start with our pitch controls first. I'm thinking we might put them up here in this spoiler thingy. Uh, so let's get rid of a few blocks and we might have one on each side here. So if we go control surface, we'll grab small ones, I suppose, go around like that. That should be fine, I think. And then we'll just fill in that little bit there with small blocks. Okie dokie, very good. And then we're gonna need some controls for our roll. So let's delete some of this. And what if we go with some medium ones that'd be too much that'd be all right we'll go something like that so let's fill in that area like so very good we'll grab some of these ones turn them around that way very good and we'll chuck that right there now is that the right way i think this one on this side needs to be flipped so if we grab this one we'll move it and flip it over like that and paste it back in and merge it all together very good that should be correct and then what are we going to do with this side if we grab a one by four and fill it in like that. That should be fine, that will work. And then we're gonna need some controls for the yaw. So maybe we use some of these. I think we've chucked them up here, that'd be right. So we're gonna have to do this individually as well, aren't we? So if we hit left arrow, so I think this one's gotta be flipped like that. I think that's correct. So we wanna go left, it will turn that way. Okay, I think that's right. So we want the negative on the left-hand side. So just like that, very good. And then we might put some underneath here as well. And I think these got to be flipped under here, don't they? So we turn around like that. I think that's right. Let me just work that out. Yeah, I think that's right. We have the negative on the left on all of it. I think that's all good. <laughs> Hopefully, I guess we'll find out. And what I might also do, I might chuck some up here somewhere as well just to help out a little bit. Maybe can we put them underneath here or we can sit them in here maybe. Would that be all, all right? Let's try that. Uh, we'll go around like this. We'll chuck them right yeah, oh, okay, so this has to be the opposite to the ones on the back. So I think that's how we want it, the negative on the right-hand side. Now, so let's go across to here, and we'll chuck that right there. I guess we'll find out if that works or not, but <laughs> for now, that should be fine. So let's get a gyro sorted. Oh, if I can spell gyro. Gyro, very good. So we're just going to chuck everything on the roof for now, I think, until we work out what's going on. So we'll grab a gyro. Let's start hooking up some of these controls. So let's get our yaw sorted first, uh, our left and right. Perfect, grab this one. Come all the way over, find left and right. There we go, that one. And now this goes straight out to all those surfaces that we just put on, all these ones. Anyway, little control fins, those two down there. And we got that one and that one. Good, and we've got a couple more at the front. So we go boom and boom. Very good, so that should be that sorted, hopefully. And then we've got our roll to sort out. So stabilize roll, we'll go to that one and that one. Very good, and that will come from the seat in our A and D. So which one is that? Is it this one here? Perfect. Okie dokie. So that's that one sorted. Now, as far as pitch goes, what I was thinking to help get it out of the water a little bit easier, I think we might delete that propeller. Let's get an aircraft propeller. Let's go propeller. And no, we don't want the aircraft propeller. We want a rotor and light, I think is what we want. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's turn it around that way. So we're going to have the negative facing up. Uh, like that. So let's grab this one. Let's put that in neutral. Let's change it up to eight blades, something like that. Very good. So the idea is when we try and pitch up, when we push S, this is going to try and force the back of the boat down and the front up using the propeller as well as our control surfaces back here. We may not even need these actually, but I'm going to put them on for now anyway. And then we have the controls with the propeller. So that should be fine. So let's hook all of this up. So what we're going to do, I think we might actually have another lever for that as well. So let's head down into here. Let's grab another throttle and we'll just chuck it on this side for now. Let's we'll chuck it right there next. Except it's going to have to go this way. So it's going to be opposite. And then we're going to grab this and we're going to go. The minimum value is minus one. Maximum value is zero. And it's going to start at zero. That should be fine. Let's put the sensitivity down as well. And this will be collective just like that. Very good. So let's grab the that one. And we're going to bring this all the way down to there, the collective on here. Perfect, and then we've got our pitch controls on there. So if we grab this, we'll bring it all the way down to here. Which one is it? There we go, so pitch. And that will also go out to these, boom and boom. Perfect, Alrighty. Now, before we connect up the seat to the gyro for the pitch, what I want to do, I want to get an altitude hold controller. I think this one's the best because it has a few extra sensors in that. So we're going to give this one a go. So we're going to chuck that right here on the roof for now, and we're going to connect this up. Uh, order. Okay, so we've got a few things we need to connect up here. So 
target altitude. We're going to need an altitude and altimeter as well. So we're going to grab this and I suppose we'll just chuck it underneath here. Why not? We'll just chuck it there. Why not? That's fine. Turn it around that way and we go there. Very good. So let's grab the output from that and we're going to come all the way up to here. Uh, so the current altitude will be that one there. Now this will be our elevator outputs. This will go straight to the gyro, I think. So that will go to the pitch, I believe. Hopefully that's the right one. And then what's this? Our input from our W and S will go to the seat. So that should be this one here. Very good. Okay, dokie, let's head back over this way. Uh, so what else have we got to hook up here? We've got target altitude. So we're going to need a little keyboard. We'll grab one of these ones and we'll come all the way into here. And for now, I'm just going to chuck it right there. That should be fine. So let's grab the output from that, drag it up to the controller into the target altitude. And then we've got our vertical speed sensor. So we're going to need a speed sensor linear speed sensor i think it's the one let's bring that back all the way into the nose here we'll just chuck it right there that should be fine and then we're going to change this to vertical perfect grab this one bring it all the way back up to the controller and which one is it that one there perfect so that should be majority of it all hooked up we just have the activation button very good so i think as far as the gyro goes we might always have it on so if we go a constant on signal for the gyro perfect Grab this, connect up to there. Okay, yeah, like I said before, all this will be hidden. We're just gonna leave it all out in the open for now. That should be fine. And then we need a button to turn this on and off. So let's get a toggle button and we're gonna head down into here and we're gonna chuck that maybe just here for now, just like that. Good, so this will just be out hold, I suppose. Uh, oh, I cannot even spell, man. Uh, we'll just get rid of that Z, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and then we might also have a dial in here too, so we can see our current altitude. And we we'll turn it around like that. Perfect. So we'll just name this out as well. Very good. And let's connect all this up. So altitude, where is it? There it is there. Boink. Perfect. And where is that toggle button? That one there. Toggled for the altitude hold. Let's bring it over to here. Very good. Now, can we like preset a number in that keyboard? I don't know. Uh, no, we can't. Okay, so we'll just... And the out, why not? So that should be fine. So another thing we might quickly do, let's go into the gyro and we might just turn down some of the sensitivity for this. What if we go down to about 60 for the pitch, just so we don't get those rapid wobbles that I usually get when we have that right up. All right, so I think we're just about ready to save this and then we'll spawn it in and see how it goes. All right, a bit wobbly sitting there in the water, but it's there, so that's all right. So let's go and jump in. Boop, there we go, perfect. Jump in our seat. All right, so we've got a few things. Let's get presser, electronics, uh, let's throttle up a little bit as well. Actually, all the way. Why not? All the way up to there. Perfect. All right. So give that a sec. There we go. Awesome. So let's set our altitude. Let's start with 10 meters. We'll start with that and see how it works. And then we'll work out what a good number is. Okie dokie. All good. So we give that a minute to spool up. So if I pitch back, that's changing the pitch on there. Very good. So it's you moving those at the back there, the control surfaces. And it's changing the angle of the blade. Very good. Or the propeller, rather. All right. So I think... Um, Let's just put the trim on a little bit so it actually does pull us up. And then we're going to give this a bit of collective. Yeah, okay. This is good. This is good. Let's pull back a bit more. Let's go a little bit more of this. Okay, are we going to pull up? Pull back. Ah, and we are <laughs> not quite up yet. Yeah, there we go. We're in the air. So let's select our altitude hold. Oh, dearie me. Not that one. Altitude hold. Oh, dear. Okay, we're back in the water. Hold on. We need to get back up again. Ah, pull up. Yep, yeah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Are we now? Okay, I might need a little bit more collective. There we go. That's a bit better. And then we'll go altitude hold. So what's that going to do for us? Oh, okay. We've just crashed again. Oh, dearie me. Okay, that's not good. Is that trying to... Okay, it's trying to pull us up. What if we go for higher number to start with? What if we go with 20? See what that does. So that's trying to pull us up already. Okay, I might have to do it manually though. Oh, no. It's, is it starting to pull up? No, it definitely is. We'll just give it a minute and see what it does. I think we're going to have to change a few things around here. Oh, no, it's pulling up by itself. Okay, I'm not doing anything, by the way. It's just doing it all by itself. So what are we at now? We're at 31, 33. So it's going to start coming down again. Okay, that's a long way just to take off. But that's all right. We'll, we'll get there. We're on a pretty steep angle as well. Far out. Uh, all right, so we're hovering around the 20 mark now. All right, so it looks like it's going to keep us about here. Yeah, it's coming back up. Okay, so it works. But we're on quite an angle. Jeez, we're on an angle. <laughs> we're on such a big angle. All right, so we're going to have to fix a few things here. I might put some control services at the back to help push the back up and some at the front to help pull it down a little bit. 
we might take it back and try and fix that. But it does hold its altitude, so that's a that's a good start anyway. Let's just quickly, we might just turn, actually, we'll leave it on for a moment. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, 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 okay, I shouldn't have done that. Let's just pull up and fly it ourselves for a minute. Whee! All right, so let's test out our yaw. Okay, so it works. We can turn left and we can turn, oh, we're coming down a bit more. And we can turn right. Okay, good. We can roll as well. Awesome. And we can pitch. Okay, very good. All right, let's take this thing back and sort out a few things. All right, so what I'm hoping to try and fix that issue, I think what we might do, we might go control services and we might grab some of these ones and chuck them on the back here. So this will help prop the back up a little bit and then we'll put some on the front as well. So if we just chuck them up in there, that looks all right. I don't mind that. And then we might put some on the front too. Actually, can we hide them in here? I wonder if we can do that. I might just grab some white. I might just paint this so I can actually see what we're doing. Just all that just for now. We'll fix it up later if I remember. <laughs> um, so let's make a little hole in here. I think this fan can go. I'm going to get rid of that. That can go. Bye-bye. And we're going to get rid of all the parts that go with it as well. Boom, boom. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't think we're going to need it. I think we're moving pretty fast. So let's just turn that around and connect that up like so. Very good. All right, so let's get this bit sorted now. So we come along like this. Going in, boom. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an area here. So let's go back to control and grab one of these. Well, a large one fit in there. That is the question. Not quiet. Okay. What if we... Can we move these then? If we grab this and I'll move it down and forward one. Okay, that's not even going to sit on there. I might just paste it in there for a moment and merge it. And did that merge? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just grab the other side as well, get them out of the way. I might find another spot for these, I think. Grab that, move it forward, chuck it right there. And we'll merge that with that. I think that's one piece. I can't actually tell. Anyway, let's grab this. We'll chuck it right there. Okay, that fits in there now. So I might move these turning parts. Find another spot for them. Oh, we could put them upside down on the top there. Actually, let's just quickly do that. I think that's a better spot for them. All right, so I think that looks a little bit better on each side. We have them hidden up in there. I think that's a little bit better. Um, also, what I might do, if I grab these, move them forward one more, and then we can fill in this little back part. So we'll paste that in there and we'll merge that with that. I'm going to do the same on this side as well and get rid of that one grab it and we'll just move forward one block like that perfect then we'll merge that with that one very nice all right so let's grab a wedge and doing the same on both sides turn them around go in there that looks a little bit better they're sort of hidden in there too i don't, I don't mind that at all actually so let's let's leave it like that now what we need we're going to need these to point down so it holds the front down a little bit more when it's flying so that means we need these to be in a negative so let's get a constant number out grab one of these i'm just going to chuck it up here on top of the roof why not Right there, good. So we'll grab this. And we're going to come down to here. Very nice. So we want these to be in negative. So maybe if we go negative 0.8, let's start with that. That may be too much, but we'll give it a go. And then the ones on the back here, we want these to prop it up. So these have to be in positive. So let's chuck them right there. Why not? Grab this and we go like one and two. Very good. Uh, now, so we want them to be in, yeah, positive to high and try and hold the back up a bit. Okay, so if we just go maybe positive 0.8, we'll just do the same as the front, but in positive. That should be fine. So let's spawn that in and give this a go instead. All right, it's turning on. Very good. So let's get our altitude sorted. We're just going to start with 20 again. That seemed to work. Not very well, actually, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, we'll play with that button in a moment. Let's just see what happens. So that should be pushing the back up, and this should be pulling the front down. I don't know how this is going to affect taking off, though. That's all, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, we're spooling up. We should be right to go now. Let's go. Let's get this thing moving. There we go. All right. Pull back. Yep. Okay, we are coming up. There we go. Come on. All right. Awesome. We're in the air. Altitude hold. Don't come down too much. Bang. Okay, that's that's not good. We're going to have to go up again. <laughs> All right. Pull up. Big old pull up. There we go. Awesome. So, what do we got? Okay, we need to come up a lot higher than that. Oh, come on. What have we got that set on again? 20. All right. Yeah, we'll go like that now. Oh, it's just pulling us down. Why is that? Why is that just pulling us down? Hmm, I might go for a higher number and see if that helps. What if we just go 50? Um, that should even pull up by itself, actually. Yeah, it is, actually. It is pulling us up very slowly. We've left the water. Okay, we're on a huge angle, though. Far out. Look at that. Okay, we are up. Okay, we're nearly at the altitude now. We're still on a huge angle. Okay, that's not good. We might have to... We have to fix something about that. That's not good. So we are coming down a little bit. It's still going to come down and hold our altitude. I just want to see what kind of angle it's going to give us. Yeah, okay. We're still pitched back a lot. That is not good. Why are they pulling up so much? They should start lowering down in a minute, actually. 
No, then... Oh, because I have the pitch on. My bad. <laughs> uh, okay, still doing it, though. Yeah, right. Okay, so it's trying to hold us about there, but it's still pulling back quite a bit. So we're going to have to work out something else to do. Uh, okay, so they're not quite doing the a job that I wanted them to do. So we're going to have to take it back and try and sort out that issue. So I might do that off camera, and I'll let you guys know what I've come up with. Alrighty guys, I think I've got it all sorted now, so I'll quickly show you. I've deleted <laughs> deleted a few things, can't even remember actually. I've deleted all the control services back here. We have one on each side of these parts here, and we still have the one sitting in the front here. So I had a lot of problems trying to get it to fly level because I was trying to push itself up and push itself down, but it's working pretty well now. So what I'll quickly do, let's hide all of this, and then we're going to go for a quick test flight. So let's grab this. We're going to move it into the front. I think should be fine. We'll bring that down like that. Good, let's um, see where we're about to are. We rotate it, gonna come down and we'll just chuck it right in the nose right there. Perfect, so we'll paste that and merge it together. Oh, there we go, nope, there, nope, why can't I do it? Oh, because it's sitting on pivots, right. Okay, so we're gonna need a block. We'll just hit a couple of blocks underneath there. That should work, there we go, perfect. And we've got a few more bits and pieces now. Not all of this is going to be final, but it works for now, so I'm gonna leave it as is. So let's just grab these few bits, good. Gonna move all this and we're gonna chuck it down inside and get it out of the way for the moment. Can I see what I'm doing? Um, let's come down like this. And once I've done this, I'll spawn in and I'll show you guys how it all works. Um, will that pace there? Probably not. Let's just drag it forward a bit more. Come down. Can I, a little bit more room? Not really. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll quickly work all this out and I'll be back in just a moment. And that is all the controllers out of sight. Very good, all right. Um, I've also just fixed up a little bit of paint down here. Now we do have a few control surfaces sitting down the bottom as well. These are trying to push the back up, so it's trying to push the front down to try and make it fly level. Because I've had a few problems of it trying to point up in the sky, but it's working really well now. So let's save it as is. Very good, and we'll spawn it in, and we're gonna go for a quick test flight. And I'll show you how it works. Just give it a second to level out. Yeah, that's probably all right. Good, so let's uh, just no clip down into here. It's probably easiest, boop. Very good, all right, let's jump in our seat and get this thing cranking. Very good, we we'll just go full throttle. And what have we got in front of us? So we have takeoff mode, so that's essentially making these flaps at the front point down to try and push the front out of the water. So let's select that, and let's select our altitude hold to maybe, let's go with 10 meters seem to work pretty well. And then we're gonna go altitude hold on. So we'll just give this a minute to spool up. I might quickly turn the volume down a little bit as well. Yeah, it's a little bit better, I suppose. Uh, so just give this a quick sec. There is a little bit of water in the back there, so we might have to put a few more pivots in, but that's right, we'll sort that out another time. All right, so we'll let these get to over 50. That seems to work pretty well. About now should be right. So let's go collective on about 30-ish. Yeah, 30, 32 should be fine. So this should automatically pull itself up and get it to select its own altitude. All right, there we go. So it's coming up. I'm not touching anything at the moment, by the way. Um, so it's going to go... A little bit past the target, so we're on 10 meters, and it's starting to come back down now, very good. So it's gonna go down to 10 meters and stay there. And as you can see, it's flying pretty level, actually, which is really good. So it's just about there now. Um, when this thing's finished, I aim to have it a bit closer to the ground, so maybe at five meters or even four meters if we can. I have to find out exactly how high these things fly. But as you can see, that is flying pretty well now. Very pretty level. It's probably pointing up a tiny bit, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so we're at 10 meters now. Let's try and go down a little bit more. Let's go to five and see how that behaves. Okay, it's going down. Good, everything's working out pretty well. Oh, we're getting very close to the water there. That's all right. That's that's very good, actually. Look at that. Perfect. What are we at now? We're at five. Okay, it's still coming down. Give me. All right. That's pretty good, though. And there we go. We're at five meters there. So that seemed to be working pretty well. I'm very happy with that. Probably a few little minor adjustments still need to be made, but overall, I'm very happy with that. But anyway, guys, that's probably going to do us for today. As always, if you guys have any suggestions, so feel free to let me know down below. But otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.